in this video i want to share with you how to send multiple letters using one click using the mail match option that is available in microsoft word okay you don't have to replicate the, the letter so for example at this time i want to send this letter that has been written this is uh, for example my address and this is the recipient address that i want to put recipient's name company name street address city state zip code and then I will put this dear recipient name. Uh, this letter is is to inform you that Cyclone Syntop Cells has a new mailing address, and that's the address here. And then we have other features with the following new address. We we'll put the address over here, and then it concludes. Okay, so this is a very simple letter, but I need to send it to each and every of these recipients. We have about sixty-two recipients, uh, both of them with first name, last name company name and business address uh, city state zip code as well as phone number and email address ordinarily i'm going to have to write in 52 different letters and then we can send it individually to each person using one click per letter per email address but i want to show you how to do it within a simple click to send 62 emails or to print 62 letters using this single one page using the function called the mail match so to start with all you need to do uh, so you understand that we have to change recipient name company name street address city and state zip code as well as the dear recipient name okay so we need to change so the first thing we need to do is to start by coming to the mailings over here and you can see mail match here so start mail match you just click on this and you can see different kind of mail match options like letters email messages envelopes labels directory and all so but for today we want to send a simple letter so we use letters once we select uh, letters we know that it is going to start the mail match on letters so we select the recipients over here so the next thing is to select the recipients we we'll click on this drop down and there are two different ways to type to select recipients to so type a new list which means you have to click on this and you have to type the individual recipients first title first name last name and the other details over here okay city address and all the details over here zip code count country home work and email all their phone numbers all their details you have to do it one by one new entry new entry delete entry and use these features okay which is going to be quite hectic and so much work and we don't have that time and energy all right so the next option is to use an existing list okay or you can choose from outlook contacts if you have an outlook list of contacts you can easily use that and you can customize it and send the mail okay but for now we are going to use this uh, an existing list because we have already had an existing list in the microsoft excel data so we can click to choose an existing list and we can navigate to the location where we have it saved here we are we have the mail match document over here so we just select it and click on open and this is going to show us the active sheet where our data is stored right now our data is stored in sheet number one that's why it already detected it that it is already in in section number one and first row of data contains column headers you can enable this if you have column headers in the first row of your data in our own case we have column uh we have headers on the first row of our header of our header you can see it it's the header it's the header we have on the first row so we can tick this if you have headers on the first row or if you don't have you can untick as appropriate all right so we say okay because it's already able to recognize our excel sheet so we say okay at this point notice that after we just made this change these three icons become active before they are great like this now they become active so we have the address block and we have the greeting lines and we have the insert match field all coming into active so we can check on the address block to check and make sure that we have the address block uh, written in the correct way once you come to the insert address block over here you can specify the address element for example insert recipient's name in the in this format you want it to be josh only an abbreviation or you want it to be joshua 
or you want it to be Joshua Randali, for example. This is just an example. And you can see the preview over here from the document that we have. All right. So you can always move to see the next one, Adrian. Okay. And the company name. So you can insert company name. You select to insert company name. If you deselect it, it's going to remove the company name from that Excel sheet. Okay, but you can select to insert company name because we are inserting company name. You can insert company postal address as well. You insert, you can remove it or you can insert it. Okay, you can put in format address according to destination, or region or country. So you can format it according to the destination, region or country. But for now, we want to take it as Joshua only or you can put it first name, last name. So let's say there are other uh, choices also. So let's say we are going for Josh Randley. Okay. Or you just Joshua Randley Jr. The full name. So you can have a preview of also over here. So we have to put the full name of the recipient at the recipient address specification. So we click on OK. And we take this. So over here we have the recipient name. So we can uh, select. But before we go to recipient name, let's start with by changing the recipient greetings, dear recipient name. So we want to remove this dear recipient name and replace it with greetings. We can select this dear recipient name. We can come to greeting line and we can say dear. So how do you want the name to appear? Joshua Randali or we can make it a single name, dear Joshua. Okay. And at the end, we can have either a comma or a column or none. You can specify from here so let's say we want to have a comma uh, and in cases when you have an invalid recipient name what should the computer do it should return dear sir or madam okay you can check in other and put into whom it may concern or you can put none in cases when there is an error okay so it should return this so but for now we want only the first name and you can check around dear douglas with comma so this is an example you can check around within the excel to see the sample dear lola dear patricia and dear rudy you can see all of them are well spelled with the first name and the comma at the last part so once you click on ok here it's going to insert the greeting line so you're free to delete all these ones we can go back to recipient name we just select it okay and we can come to uh, we can make sure we select it. When we select it, we can see the mail inside mail merge field disappears. So what you need to do is we have to come back to it and double click it three times so that you can activate this uh, inside merge field. Okay, you can select, click on the drop down and you can come to this is recipient's name. You can put first name and then we can put another name as well. Okay, first name. Then we can give a space then we can insert last name okay last name so it's going to be first name last name and then the company name we're going to put in company name here so you can come over here and put company name okay so it's going to be company name and then you can select street address and come over here and also replace the street address with business address and then you can put city okay you replace city also you can come over and replace city with city like this and you can put the state code accordingly and you can come over here and put zip code so right now we have almost finished the replacement okay you can see first name last name so we can have a preview of how this letter is going to look like so let's check out the preview over here so we click on preview and we can see the first or the number eighth guy is rudy alakon this is his company this is the number street address and even the zip code and dear rudy this is it so it means it's correct so we can move back and check accordingly with all the other recipients you can see dear ellis dear douglas dear lena and dear andrean and dear martin okay martin smith okay you can check also to confirm this is the first guy which is martin smith and you can see the arrangement the details are all correctly written over here so the letter looks kind of cool and fantastic you can always check the preview or oh, it's a toggle you can enable it and disable it you can enable it and disable it and you can check across all the all the features once you are okay you are satisfied with it you can click on okay and then you can come back to the editing so you check and make sure that the everything is everything is correct so once you click on uh finish mail match finish mail match you can have the option to 
edit individual documents you can do it individually for the 62 recipients or you can print this document or you can send it via email so once you click on send via email send email this uh, send email messages you can click on send email messages and it's going to send this email to the 62 recipients on different all of them will receive a different letter with his details within one click all right and if you want you can send it to you can print this document so for example i may want to print because this is my option as i may want to print this document through my printer and once i print this it's going to print 62 versions of this letter at once even though it is only one page here but it's going to print it with 62 uh, letters each carrying different names different names of each, each individual okay so if you are printing an appointment letter or you are printing something a business letter or uh, something that is you have to send it to the same sort of people the same wordings but different names different address this is the best method to do so for example i'm going with the print and i can say print all and you can say uh, print all and you can just say okay and we can specify our printer for example i want to go with foxit and we can specify all and we can say okay and it's going to print this in 52 pages okay so you can select the file location where you want to save it and you can give it a name you can just save and you can see right now it has finished printing so you can just come in to just have a look of at what and how it does it so you can check this is the first letter this is martin smith and this is the details dear martin and you can see how it is written you can check the second one also this is andrean thomas sound sound modern you can check the address dear andrean you can check the third one also this is uh cycle uh, this is mcgill you can say cyberphonic music this is the address dear lena this is correctly written and it has printed all the documents in one document so you're free to print it you're free to share it you are free to email it also to your friends okay so in a nutshell this is how to use the mail match in microsoft word ladies and gentlemen if you enjoyed this video please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification buttons to stay connected to this channel for more of our very very useful videos i'll see you in my next video bye